In this video presentation, we go over our TVC Walken model plus the quad fin system. We go over the theor theoretical background, uh, concept generation, and design process of the project, along with the assembly of the rocket components, uh, the mathematical models, and the testing of the entire, of the entire system. A TVC or a thrust vector and control system is a thruster system that is able to control and manipulate uh, a thruster's angular direction and altitude based on inputs. For this project, we created a TVC system that consists of a dual axis gimbal that actually is based on sensor plus other gyro sensor. The X and Y axis of the gimbal are actuated by two SG90 servo motors set to default value of 90 degrees. The servo models will pull out the X and Y uh, gimbal rigs connected to the rocket motor. The gyro sensor inputs will be used as feedback compared to the reference angle of 90 degrees, which will be used to actuate the rocket motors in, in the gimbal uh, by changing the angular direction so that it remains perpendicular to the angle of flight and keeping the rocket as straight as possible as it launches upwards. We will be simulating the dual axis gimbal TVC system along with the fin system by rotating around his, ax around his X and Y axis connected to a gyro sensor, sen a sensor, which will, along with the quad fin system, will actually be based on the motion. For this system, the primary control will be control of it will be performed using a PID system, which will help provide fast and still a uh, stable response. On the screen now is a general overview of our system consisting of the input-output relationship between the gyro sensor and our thruster. The gyro sensor acts as the feedback in this scenario when, in combination with the input and any disturbances into our system, generates an output through the thruster. The design process started primarily with sketching a couple rough drafts of the prototype before moving to a 3D modeling in the super, uh, of the separate parts. The quad fin components are primarily inspired by the descent fins of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rockets, which are typically deployed on re-entry uh, into the Earth's atmosphere in order to direct its path. The remaining components include an ABS tube shell for housing the external and internal parts, along with a cone section for housing the four servo motors attached to the fins. The design prioritized a vertical implementation and ease of assembly to prevent issues of troubleshooting later on. The mathematical model was derived using PID control. We used Simulink in order to create our PID controller, which consisted of the proportional, the integral, and the derivative branch in Simulink, the derivative branch representing the angular velocity of our system. By constantly running, repetitively running our Simulink model and analyzing the output of our reference angle versus the output value of the system, we could define constants that we were constantly manipulating in order to get a stable system. We also used a saturation block within the PID system after the output was generated in order to make our, our output of our system more smooth in terms of minimizing the overshoot and decreasing the settling time. Our report has a output that shows the reference angle and also shows our output's value going along that reference angle and eventually matching it to prove the stability of our system through Simulink and through PID control. So this segment of the rocket assembly is our electrical compartment where we have all the electrical circuitry uh, handled and stored in. So in here we have uh, uh, we have all the parts uh, mounted on our development board or perf board to ensure that there's as little uh, noise uh, noise or disturbances in the electrical signal as currents are going through between components. Uh, the major uh, major uh, piece on top of this perf board is our Duo Nano, which is what is our microcontroller, which basically controls everything uh, for the rock for the for the rocket. And then we have our gyros uh, our gyro. Uh, sensor, which basically gets the sensor inputs of, uh, of of the of the angle and of the angle of our rocket in X, Y, and Z direction, and and then we have our um, uh, toggle switch, which is for powering on and off the board, and in fact the entire rocket uh, rocket assembly uh, uh, operation. So, just switching this on and off. The second component or system of our rocket is our quad fin. Uh, segments, which includes four fins, 
uh, that rotate uh, along a, along a ser on server horns uh, based on uh, sensor input, or in which they will actuate on an angle depending on the direction. So again, if our gyro sensor is getting a uh, getting an uh, angle readings on the x-axis, these two uh, fins will rotate a uh, sequentially on 45 uh, on uh, uh, using the servo motors. And if we get uh, inputs on our y-axis through the gyro sensor, then these two will rotate sequentially together uh, based on the angle based on angle readings. So they adjust uh, more or less in the same way. So, this is our TV system or thrust vectoring uh, control system, which is composed of several components, including our dual axis gimbal. Our dual axis gimbal concludes in the X and Y direction for which they can move, uh, for which the, the rocket motor can move in. So, for the first, the, for the Y uh, axis gimbal, we have this, out, this outer servo motor, which basically controls the inner servo motor, which is our X gimbal. And the X gimbal is what connects directly to our rocking motor. Go. So this is our system uh, uh, turned on now as it's functioning. So we basically have both of our components working uh, at the same time. I'll go over the, the TVC system first. So right now you can see that the gimbal is actually based on the angle of the rocket assembly as it should. And it's usually trying to angle like in a direction that is perpendicular to the flight of motion. As you can kind of tell, it's not perfect, but it does respond mostly well. And then we have our quad fin system, which basically actuates in, uh, in, the, synchronous, uh, in the synchronous operation like I mentioned before. We have like four of them moving based on the angle of the rocket assembly. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but they are kind of all moving at varying angles depending on the position of uh, the rocket assembly for the inclining and yeah that should be good the successes and failures of our projects consisted of the PID tuning and the design of our project the PID tuning was successful due to our plan of using that to generate our mathematical model and our controller that would be used to generate our transfer function and also the design we ended up to choosing to use SOLIDWORKS and following through with that in order to successfully build our design. Our failures would be more towards the building of that design where we ended up having some issues with our 3D printed parts where they would be glued, glued incorrectly together in our TVC system and having to realign and rebuild some of these products. These were failures we did not expect for and affected our time management as well as our Gantt chart as this accounted, this delayed certain tasks for longer days than they should have been.